What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to give you a breakdown on US 30 and what I saw in the markets today. Before we go into the video I want to let you know that I did just create a brand new free training. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and then send me the word Forex and I'll send it over to you. And like I mentioned it's 100% free. Alright guys, we are on US 30 right now. Let's go to today's date. Um, it was March 30th, 2022. Um, this was, I did not trade today actually guys, but I want to show you a preview of the markets, what I saw. And there were actually some very, very good setups today. So first thing we need to take into consideration is the trend that we're already in. So right as the market did open for the New York session, it kind of did bounce down. It was consolidating throughout this whole zone right here. And then it broke to the downside. So a lot of people were probably like, all right, it's going to go short. But as the market started to come out, we started to gain momentum to the upside. And I knew that we were going to be in an uptrend for the a good amount of the New York session in the beginning. Because right here at the market open, we can see that this 630 candle completely pushed up. Broke this whole consolidation level that it was sitting in between. And then it actually did hit our psychological level 35250. So after that... It was already an uptrend then it pushed down this doji right here would have been a perfect indication that it was going to keep going up and the way that i'm looking at the markets is we can see that it pushed up and then pushed down so all i'm seeing right here is a lower high and then it started to push up even more and that was a high of the session right here at this level about 35 340 around there okay but really what gave me indication that it was going to bounce off this level and buy is this second candle right here. This spinning top right here that closed at 6.45 a.m. And if you guys know me, I mention all the time at 6.45 a.m. That is our break setup. That's when you're going to see a very nice setup play out on the minute 15 and the minute 5. We're going to go on the minute 15 in just a second, but let's stay on the minute 5. We can see right here on the minute 5, we have the doji indicating a higher low and then right here we have this bullish candle push up and it and, and overdoes or i can't even think of the word right now it surpasses this previous candle's body and the wick just gets a little bit higher so this was a very good setup and like i'm telling you guys like 645 is a really really good time to be looking for a setup in the markets for a reversal candle continuation candle anything like that so this was a freaking really good trade right there and you guys can see if we would have entered right there, our risk would have been 374 pips. Perfect. I'm usually aiming for about 1,000 pips. So if we look to the upside, boom, hits 1,000, almost 1,100 pips. And I'm usually going for like 1,000 pips right on the T. So if I was to have traded today, that would have been my setup. Also, we can see that when we did have this break, also look how the candles went to the upside above our moving averages. We have our 20 moving average and then our 50 EMA. Once the candles broke above these moving averages, I also knew that was really good confirmation it was going to continue to the upside. So that's really what I would have traded right there. That would have been my ideal setup. You could have got a nice setup right here at 710, seeing this bearish engulfing. We have a bullish candle followed by a bearish candle really does surpass the previous body of the previous candle. And then we could see right here that our risk would have been 396 pips, not bad. And with this trade right here, I would have targeted my golden zone right here. If the market will go to it right here at 35,188. So it would have been like almost 1,200 pips right there on that trade. So honestly, I'm not going to lie. Today was pretty clean this whole week. There's been a lot of really clean setups. Personally, I don't trade Wednesdays. Okay, so now, now let's go to that 6.45 time on the minute 15 and, 15 and see what's good. Came and talk. Okay, right there, 6.15 to 6.30, and then right here, this candle was the closure at 6.45. So we already could see that it bounced off this support, and then it just closed bullish, started rallying up to the upside, and boom, right here, this was a market open from 6.30 to 6.45. Got a nice bullish candle right there, and that next candle just came out with so much momentum, really pushed it to the upside, and we could even see right here at 7.15, 
that we could have seen a nice reversal candle and at 710 on the minute five that's when we saw the reversal or the bearish engulfing forming on the five minute so looking at the minute 15 we could have used those two time frames in confluence and got a nice setup right here so boom nice setup right there on the minute 15 if you miss on the minute five a little bit bigger of a stop loss 500 pips so we go for a two to one risk to reward ratio and boom there's where our tp would be at this golden zone a thousand pips so within about 25 minutes, it would have smacked your TP right there. So this was today's setup. And also I want to give you guys a hack. I want to see if this actually really does work. Um, usually what you guys can do before you start trading is also look at the one hour time frame or even the two hour time frame and see what the one hour candle did from 5 a.m to 6 a.m. and then the next one hour candle that is going to happen after that is most likely going to follow the trend or do what the previous candle is telling us so right here we do have a big hammerhead candle from 5 to 6 a.m. and then after that we can see that it kind of retested a little bit boom completely shot up so this really does give us a lot of confirmation if we look back on Here's the 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. candle, big bullish candle, and then right after that completely shoots up on the 6 to 7 a.m. candle. Okay, let's go to the previous day. Okay, even right here, we have the 5 to 6 a.m. candle bearish. Next candle is bearish as well. Okay, then we have this candle from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, that would have been a really hard sign to tell. Most people probably would have went short, but it did end up going short. But overall, it did push up from 7 to 8 a.m. So this was correct. If you would have had your stops right above this point right here, you would have got stopped. So I would have had it above this high right here in present time. But yeah, that's another tip you guys can use. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't have too much I want to say. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And also remember the free training. All you have to do is message me on Instagram. My link is for my Instagram is in the description. Send me the message. Send me the word Forex and I'll send you over that free training. Thank you.